Hi friends. It's my birthday week. So Chris took me camping for a few days. We're camping in Fort Richardson State Park. We're fixing to go fishing. It's not real busy. So we got a neighbor and then one way down there. And then of course this is our little place. All these little cabins, they've got bunk beds in them and a heater and an air conditioner. And uh, so it'll be nice to park your camper and they have full hookups in some of these. Chris is making my favorite breakfast this morning. It's uh, potatoes, onions, sausage. You just put the sausage in there. The recipe's on here on the channel and then we'll top he he likes eggs in his part not me and then we top it with cheese oh, it's so heavenly good my favorite and this is the finished product don't that look good it's his it's the best breakfast she'll ever ever eat so honey's taking me Junkin' today. Place here, it used to be J.C. Penney's. It was a two-story building, and now it's just full of antique junk. So we're gonna go see what we can find. We're in. Uh, what town are we in? Mineral Wells, Texas. This is inside. I think we're gonna be here a while. That old hotel there used to be something in its day. Guy in our church used to work there. They've come for, to this town for its water, mineral water, hence the name Mineral Wells. They're restoring it. We're in an antique store. This is my very, very favorite thing to do. If I could make a living shopping in antique stores, I could be rich. <laughs> now we're in historic Granbury, Texas. And I believe it's, I think it was 1890 that this town started. It's a beautiful day. We ate there at that little grill and lounge uh, a couple years ago. We're going to go down here to a place called Babe's Chicken. It is absolutely scrumptious. Here's Babe's. We're going to get here a little early. They don't open till 5. This used to be the old Model T building where they built Model T's back in the day. A plus. A plus. Wonderful. Well, good. I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got today and the treasures that we found. I got this old crock for my um, kitchen to put utensils in. 
I got this in uh, Mineral Wells, and it was twelve dollars. And this, I'm real excited about this. I got this in um, Granberry, Granberry, and I paid ten dollars for it. And it's a measuring cup, and it goes all the way to one quart green my favorite color I love depression glass green so I was really 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 happy with this okay and then I got a shirt in Granberry 50% off at a little boutique so like that I think it was 20 oh and I got my very 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 favorite candy and it's hard to find. It's kind of an old-fashioned candy. It's called Cherry Mash, and it's chocolate. Here, I'll open it and show you. So it's chocolate, and then it's got like a cherry confectioner kind of. Uh, it's just a big deal. Mmm. It's so so. So good. My very favorite. So I'm going to take one little bite. And then later get another little bite and save it. And that was my treasures I got today. Morning. Found this at Berkshire's. It's Whataburger sausage. Pork sausage. So we're going to try frying that up for our breakfast this morning. We usually go through the drive-thru and have a jalapeno cheddar biscuit with this on there. So we thought we'll try it. At home to see if it tastes as good here. And y'all poor people that are not from Texas or the South that don't have Whataburger, I'm sorry. Whataburger is awesome. <clears throat> Ain't nothing better. Cooked in a little bit of pork grease. Woo! I love breakfast. <laughs> Chris's favorite meal is breakfast. And we got the leftovers from my favorite biscuits and gravy and those eggs and of course Drake he's always wondering where there's a crime uh-huh he's a ducks huh? yeah we're taking a little hike today we hike down to this little lake they got some ducks in there. The hospital. Barracks. This is inside the hospital part. Looks very sanitary. Doesn't it? Guess they had a lot of mosquitoes because look at the mosquito netting. I wonder what this little thing is. Look here, like a vaporizer? how warm that little stove kept the shroom. And then over here, look at this bathroom. How would you like to use this? And then your dirt with a little scoop in there. And I guess this is your bathroom. Pharmacy.
where the doctor did all of his stuff. Mm. Steak and beans. Steak and beans. And something in the bowl. Maybe this is the kitchen. Yep. How'd you like to cook on that stove? Yeah. Attending surgeon, Fort Richardson, Texas. That's like the attic stove. I don't know. I'd try, I'd like to cook on it. Looks it looks like you build a fire in that. Uh, on the side. Full diet is a pound of meat, half a diet is eight. Eight if ounces? A, yeah, if you're on a chicken mm -hmm. diet, you get 12 ounces. If you're on a low diet, you get eight ounces. I don't know what that, ooh, fish, oysters raw. Here's all the <clears throat> days of the week for the. So today is uh, yeah. Saturday, what would be today's food? For breakfast, what? It's coffee, bread, butter, hominy, boiled, and molasses. And you get semi-stewed beef or mutton, which would be sheep, I guess. Mm -hmm. Doo-doo soup. Ooh. That's what it says. Potatoes and other vegetables. <coughs> and bread. Is it only two meals a day? I, well, I don't know. I seen something here that said, uh, and then you get tea, bread, butter, fruits. What was it? Edda. It's Edda. You get jelly water. <laughs> there was one I seen that said Indian something, Indian mutton. Where was that at? There it is. Thursday's half diet to get Indian meal boiled. Hmm. <clears throat> this is from 1862. The Surgeon General's office says, medical officers who receive this diet table are directed to adopt it immediately in the hospitals under their charge and comply strictly and carefully with its provisions for 10 days, keeping during that period an accurate account of expenditures from the hospital fund. At the end of that time, they will report the results of this experimental trial, its effects upon the sick and upon the hospital fund it will make such suggestions as they deem appropriate. The object to test the practical operation of this diet table before adopting it as a standard for general hospitals is recommended that the diets be prepared according to the recipes in the steward's manual. This is the little creek that runs through through here. This is a little model. Let's see if you can. Let's see, over here is your hospital. Right over there. There's your Lost Creek. Mm -mm. Tell me.
of this door all the way to where we first came in over there. So they built it for the breezeway. I love this porch all the way around it too. It's cold, isn't it? The back back of the hospital and then just right here is the morgue. right off the hospital. That's the bakery. But, but this was rolls and rolls of uh, barracks here. So of course there's your hospital and the morgue. There's your generals and stuff residents. I think we got company coming. Daddy, who's coming? Christopher. I knew we couldn't stay away from him very long. You heard we had some steaks out here. Yeah. So here he comes. We're only about 45 minutes away because we didn't want to get very far because my nanny's not doing very well. He's on his way. Okay. Ribeyes and asparagus wrapped in bacon. Hey, I think that might be tasty. Christopher calls Drake up to the table like he's going to eat. Get that dog down. We've got mac and cheese. We got old creamy, old grandma's old Tommy creamy corn. And then our asparagus and steaks are over there. Hey, Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this food you've given to us. Bless it to our bodies. Keep us safe, and we'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Time to dig in. <laughs>